Uh, hey, Jim. hey, well, <clears throat> okay. So, uh, hey, check it out, dude. Guess what time it is? <laughs> Does it happen to be so, actually like uh, right on time? Happen to today. be nine fifteen. Nine fifteen. It is time once again. Yeah. yeah. Give it up, Wait, man. Let's uh, let's do a small one. Boy, even our audience here. <laughs> even our audience is awake today. Nice. Uh, wow, well, guess what time it is, Joel? What time is it, Keith? Time once again for Smack and Jack Live yeah. from the studios yeah. of Somerset Studios in lovely Chester County, Pennsylvania. Fantastic. And today it is a lovely day. We have Indeed. snow on the ground, a little bit left, but no snow in the air, which is great. Uh, we got a great show for you today. Mm -hmm. This is yep. our pre-daylight savings, the last day. Last of, day of standard time. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I hate the dark. You know what I mean? I this agree. is when I start getting excited about life once again. I come yeah. out of my cocoon. And, right, you're like, Phew. Yeah. Those so, four months were behind us now. We got that. We, uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff yeah. going. So uh, grab your cup of coffee. Uh, is that good? We roll right Yeah, into well, it? we're also going to talk about uh, color branding with yeah, your well, website. Okay. And how to grab colors and move them okay. around so you yep. can have the exact same color on your webpage. Okay. And then again, we got our awesome jokes. jokes. Yeah. And then we'll do our trivia. And, and then we're going to talk about uh, daylight savings time, so facts yep. and all that kind of stuff. Then we're going to yep. come back for our trivia answers like we've been doing the last couple of weeks and our ever popular birthday, birthday minute. minute. So yeah. we are ready. Grab your extra big cup of coffee. That's right. Yeah, we uh, got, we, it. We got know, like uh, almost a gallon of coffee. Since we've been today. sponsoring, you think they could throw us a little bit of a free cup of coffee? We, you, we, 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 you know, anyway. So grab a coffee, uh, sit back, relax, and we will be right back. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smackin' Jack Live with your co-host Keith and Joel Flenderman. Oh, yes. Yay. Yeah, welcome back, Joel. Good to see you once again on this yeah. lovely Saturday morning. And so, everybody is just... Act. Gonna do a little fade out there? Yeah, all right. a little fade out. Yeah, all right, so welcome, Still everybody. Still learning the new, the, the new soundboard. <laughs> I'd pick it up, but everything would be to show the audience, but everything would just Do not disappear. touch yeah, that dude. forward. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so just anyway. so you know, Keith's got one slider over there to move up yes. and down. I, so got, I got four of them to, to, to just... They're there for show. His, his jobs are exponentially growing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm reading. I'm sliding. I'm I'm pushing buttons. Holy cow! I'm it's a like regular, walking on eggshells. Regular man. producer here today. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. What's all right. Going on? So, all right. We'll get back to daylight savings times a little bit. Uh, we have to let you know that there is no show next week. Oh, that's um, too yeah. Bad. Unfortunately, at church, I need to uh, I need to play a, a funeral. Uh, I won't go into too much detail about that, but we do have a funeral next week that I need to play. Okay, and, which means we will be negating our St. Patty's Day yes. show this year. So I know. Yeah. So uh, I don't even have anything green on today. You got a uh, yeah. Uh, we wore our cheerful yes. St. Patty's red and yes. blue today. I to think celebrate. that's a Protestant uh, St. <laughs> right. Patty's uh, something like that. But uh, yeah, so you guys enjoy your St. Patrick's Day next good. week. Yes. All right. Okay. All, All right. right. So we wanted to show, um, uh, get right off the bat here and show a um, a precious post. If okay. You know, yes. A yes. precious post, if you don't mind, for the moment. Or. Um, yeah. So who shared this post? Uh, Keith? Our dear sister Linda sent it to us. Yeah. Uh, shared it with us, and uh, yeah, it was not. What's that? Eight years ago. Yeah. Uh, so our beautiful mom passed. Yes. So eight years ago, yesterday. Yesterday. Yep. yep. Yeah. I still remember. It was Shrove Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I still remember getting that phone call from yep. Stephanie. And uh, so anyway, we love your mom. And, yep. Uh, we and we know you're enjoying today. the show. Yep. You th yep. you'd be our biggest fan, and I'm sure you're watching it up there with Pop now. So anyway, you, you uh, can roll your eyes yeah. and uh, <laughs> all that stuff. Yeah. So all right. Yes. So thank you for that post, Linda. Yep. yep. Wonderful post. All right. Let's get on to our. Um, uh, branding with color. Okay, so, what's that? Um, what exactly is branding with color? Okay, so when you have a website, you'd like to have. How about a little bit of feature music there? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. So when you have okay. your website, you want to have your your color kind of congruent through throughout your website, right? With, with your landing pages, um, and you know different parts of your site, you want to have colors kind of the same. Okay. okay. So. So the issue is, how do you get your colors to be exactly the same? And that's something I've struggled with. I don't know if you've ever played with getting colors 
on a website right now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's take a I look. I heard English, and then all of a sudden it went to some foreign something or other. All right, let's take a look at how to get color uh, from different parts of your website to maybe something brand new you're setting up. And for this, I'm going to start off with our Smack and Jack website. Um, and then we're gonna we're gonna create a post here um, using Canva. You know, I've showed you how to use Canva yes. before. Mm -hmm. All right. So one way to do this. First off, let's start a design here. Let's say I want to do a Facebook post. All right. So I'll put that there. Facebook post is coming up. All right. And for the Facebook post, I want to create a color here <clears throat> that's exactly the same as something on our web page. Okay. So I want to take this red here. I want to copy this exact red color. Okay. Now, how do I get that over to our post? All right. Well, one thing we can do is we can right click and go down to inspect. Okay. And you see popping off to the right here, we have that color code right there. Okay. Okay. That, color, that okay. is that color right there. So I'm going to copy that code right there. Okay, just that part. Yeah, I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go back to my Canva, okay? And I'm going to go into my color um, uh, palette. palette. That's what I'm looking for. Oh. Thank you, Keith. I knew there was a reason why you're on this show. <laughs> <laughs> and I plug oh, okay. in that code and check this there out. It is. That is the exact color that we have right there. Okay. Okay? That's the exact color. All right, so now Let's go add an element. We'll add something else on this background here. So for just the sake of right now, I'm going to add this goofy triangle. Okay, I put that triangle. Now I have a white triangle. You know, what am I going to do with white triangle? Well, let's go back to our page. Now I want to get this yellow here, but I'm not sure how to get that yellow because I don't see the color code over here. Now I'm sure it's over there somewhere, right? but I don't see it. So I have discovered a plugin to get this color and it's called the eyedropper. Okay. Okay. So this, as you see, is up here. I hope you can see it. Is up yeah. It's up there on my toolbar. Now how did I get that? Well, I Googled, where did I put it in here? Eyedropper Chrome. It's a Chrome extension. Okay. Okay. So I Googled that. Let's press return here. And the first thing that comes up, eyedropper Google Chrome. So, when you Google that, it comes up, Chrome Web Store. Over here, it will say, install to your browser. All right? So, I've already done that, and that's why you see it up there. Okay. okay? So, for those of 4% watching this, this is an awesome little tool to help grow your, uh, you know, your branding, yeah. uh, match your, your colors, and so forth. Okay. So, I have it up there. I've in installed it up there. Now, let's go back. How am I going to use it? I want to grab that yellow right there. All right. So, I go to my eyedropper. There it is. Bravo. And I go to pick color from web page. Check this out. All right. And there it is. Now, I'm pretty sure that our audience can't see. In the bottom right behind okay. our screen there, it gives you a, like a little bigger view of what the color is you're, you're uh, uh, snatching. All right, so I'm gonna click there. So whatever your cursor hits. There it is, all right, now look up there. It's oh, there, okay. all right. Now, that's the color that I want. Let's see, I'm gonna copy that. Ready, folks? Control copy, let's go back to Canva. And for this here, I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna go bam. Control V. Oh! Uh, no, you no. didn't! No, yes! Yeah! Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, man. You like that? <laughs> All right, now it gets even better, brother. Check this Whoops. out. Check this out. All right, let's put a heart in there. <laughs> okay, now, again, I'm just throwing things together here for this Canva piece, but I want you to get the idea of what you can do with this color um, eyedropper thing. All right, now let's go back to our web page here. Let's go back to the web page. Now, I want to get another unique color off of our website. Okay. So, I'm going to go back to my color picker here, and I'm going to grab the color of your eye. Wow. Uh, right there. I got it. I got it. And did you know your uh, dark slate gray oh, okay. is the color of your eyeball? Okay. Yeah. Dark slate gray. Now, okay. when I did it earlier, it actually came up as like an olive, so I must have gotten like a little bit different part of your eye. Okay. All right, wow, so I'm going to copy that. that. Uh, yeah, it can be precise. very precise. Yeah. yeah. Oops, where am I here? I'm gonna go back to here. All right. Let's change the color of that heart. 
because we can't have a red heart. It's not Valentine's Day anymore. We're gonna do this. Bam! Wow. Yeah, look at that. Again, very good. So that is, that's, you know, parts of our web page right there. So we have the red that we see. We see the the uh, yellowish color of the button, and then we have Keith's gray eye. Okay. All right. Let's add one more thing. <laughs> let's add one more here. Uh, let's put uh, let's put another little triangle there, just for the sake of adding one more thing. Let's go back, and in this triangle here, we're going to grab a little bit of Keith's shirt. Yeah, okay. okay. So let's get a get little bit of again. this shirt right there. Darker. All right. Yeah, okay. All right. So that is a um, Cade Blue. Oh, I'm sorry, Cadet Blue. Cadet, Cadet okay. Blue. Okay? okay. And it's kind of cool. They have a name for all these colors. That's that something you, crazy. All right. So we'll go ahead and plug it in right there. Ready? Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got ahead of myself. Plug it in right here. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. And that's. <laughs> yeah. Any people say that anymore? Yeah, on well, that uh, commercial they do. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, that was about a book, by the way. So that's how you can grab colors from any website, yeah. anywhere on your website, any other website that you're kind of feeding into or you're linking to if you want to make things congruent um, so that when your visitors come and land on your page, um, it's, you know, things kind of flow together. They're all, yeah. Okay, you know so it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, so our landing page, yeah. like, the pop-up that you're supposed to see when you come to smackandjack.com um, has that red on there, the, the exact, the exact same, same red, red, okay, okay, and then the exact same black because you know there's all different shades of black. So mm -hmm. I was made sure I got the same color black, okay, on those uh, opt-in forms. Okay, good. So Very that's good. it for uh, shoot. Good. That was called the the learning curve. That's our new segment, the learning curve. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very yeah. good, Joel. Yeah, all right. So there you go. You can all thank me for that later because that's a pretty good idea. Come back over here to the. the yeah, you're like. <clears throat> I'm, <coughs> I, we're I over a little bit I from know. last week, and I'm usually standing on that one. Keith has spot. so much more room over there; he, he doesn't know what to do. Yeah. With, um, so okay. Anyway. So that's okay. our learning curve. Yay! Uh, let's get into our jokes, shall we? Uh, jokes, jokes, jokes of the day. Hold on. All right. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Now the jokes come from page three hundred of your joke hymnal of the. 3,650 jokes, puns, and riddles today. All right, so folks, today we just have two jokes because they're kind of like a narrative joke like they were last week, but I thought these were pretty good, so I thought maybe we'll read these today. All right, you ready for this, Brother Yes, King? I, yes All right, I am. All right, joke Let's number hear. one, here we go. All right, so Georgie, this is a little conversation between Georgie and Dad, okay? So Georgie said, Dad, what was the name of that train station we just left? And Dad says, shh. Son, I'm trying to read this map. But Georgie says, okay, but look for the name of that last stop because mom just got off there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit too cerebral. <laughs> okay. uh, let's see what else we got. All right, second one. Okay, so this is a conversation between a father and his bachelor friend. Okay. okay. Father and his bachelor friend. I'll tell you, so this is father talking friend. I'll tell you something about happiness. Do you know what it means to come home to two adorable, well-mannered children who are thrilled at the sight of you, hang on your every word, and think you're the smartest, strongest, best guy in the world? And his friend said, well, what? I'll tell you what it means. It means you're in the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> and I could not agree very with that good. more. Very good, very good. <laughs> That's so true. All right, moving on. Let's get on to our trivia. So get ready to plug in some trivia answers there, folks out there. Yeah, Kevin, is Kevin a new uh, watcher today? Hi, uh, how are yeah. you? Kevin? Hey, Kevin. Yeah, good to see you, Kevin. Kevin's in our church choir, yeah. Oh, good, yeah, good, yeah. great. So, okay, um, so let's go um, Where are on we to now? our trivia. Uh, get ready to type in your answers on the trivia. Keith's um, going to be doing a bit of reading here, right? Because I've been doing a lot of oh, talking. Oh, are we on that part? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm tired, right? We did yes. our jokes, and now we're on the trivia. Okay, here we go. So a little bit of trivia time. Got a trivia music. I remember to cue that in. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Okay. Which band's name is also a reference to a large German airship, cylindrical in shape? Hmm. Oh, oh goodness question. sakes, Brad. I, I I might need to have a call out, <laughs> a shout out for that one. Which actress, actress played Lauren Miller, Alex's girlfriend, on the 
on the last two seasons of Family Ties. All right. Hmm. Used to watch that all the time. You may I not remember, remember that. Thursday nights. Yep, yep, Thursday nights. Uh, with 208 touchdowns, which player holds the record for the most touchdowns in the American National Football League? Hmm. Well, yeah. yeah come on, folks. Yeah. Chime in there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, which which metallic element has a melting point of approximately minus 38 degrees Fahrenheit or 39 degrees Celsius? Hmm. Cold. Yeah, I had no, no idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which paper was uh, which, which rapper. rapper was born? Robert Matthew Van Winkle on October 31st, 1967. Mm. Okay. Wouldn't have made it with that name anyway. A la, Cra a la crazy. I, I don't know what that is. is. Is a French cooking term that describes a dish made, made or garnished with what? Mm. Okay. What is the name of the London theater built by Shakespeare's playing company in 1599? Mm. I can picture it, but I don't really remember. Yeah. So, All right, so let's do a little recap yeah, so, here, folks, and I'll give you some time to type in your uh, your answer. Which band's name is also a reference to a large German airship, cylindrical in shape? Which actress played Lauren Miller's Alex's Lauren Miller, Alex's girlfriend, on the last two seasons of Family Ties? With, uh, with 208 touchdowns, which player holds the record for the most touchdowns in the National or American National Football League? Okay. Which metallic element has a melting point of approximately minus 38 degrees Fahrenheit? Which rapper was born Robert Matthew Van Winkle on October 31st, 1967? A la Cressy is a French looking term that describes a dish. I don't know. It's looking. <laughs> it looks pretty French. <laughs> it's a French cooking term that describes a dish. Made or garnished with what? I didn't even notice I said that. Okay, last one. <laughs> what was the name of London Shakespeare Theater built um, in 1599? Okay. All right, okay. let's move on. Now, we already talked about um, Daylight Savings Time is coming up tonight. Right, yes. Okay, so we're going to take just a minute and go over a couple facts about Daylight Savings Time that maybe we don't know. We discussed back in, um, in the fall that Standard Time was an issue with... Um, Huh? Still want that on or not? Yeah, you can keep it on. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just have that behind scene dialogue during the show. <laughs> All right, where was I? So we discussed back in the <laughs> back in the fall. Oh, we are so professional here. About, about yeah. standard time. Yes. The railroad companies needed to have the uh, the times wherever they went to be the same. Right. Because apparently what happened was when you got off the train and if you're going from Philadelphia to somewhere in Ohio, you got off the train and then you checked the big town clock and then you adjusted your watch to whatever time it was. That is crazy. Okay. So, so obviously that started to become an issue with the railroads. All right. So that's how we came up with standard time. And, Number one, Utah huh. resolution has proposed 15 times in the state legislature to ditch daylight saving time to match the Beehive State with the same time zone as Chicago, one hour ahead of Denver. The U.S. Department of Transportation determines time zones, as we were talking about. World War II, uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt well, implemented a year-round daylight saving that was commonly known as wartime. Mm -hmm. So that okay. changed the entire for the entire year. Mm -hmm. Transportation industry found the lack of nationwide uh, consistency in observance confusing to push for uh, federal regulation. This drive resulted in a Uniform Time Act of 1966. And we were just saying before the show, 1966, man, that wasn't that long yeah. ago. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I don't think it for was that For some long. of us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, signed by Lyndon Johnson. Um, under Johnson's act, states and territories can opt out of daylight saving. It isn't observed in Arizona, Hawaii, American Samoa. Guam and Northern uh, Mariana Islands, Puerto Rico and the Virginia Islands, according to uh, research. There is no S in daylight. The correct term is daylight saving, saving not savings. Time. Time. Right. Supposed to be lowercase, not uppercase, according to uh, oh, okay. associated oh. somebody. The elderly, 65 and up, may struggle with a time change more than their younger counterparts. Okay. Utah and about 25 other states want to make daylight saving time change. Uh, the U.S. would have to approve any such law and want daylight savings year-round. That okay. want daylight savings because it, it would end up changing their time zone, I think. Okay, yeah. Four yeah. months of the year are standard time. We knew that. During 73, oil embargo of the petroleum exporting countries in an effort to conserve fuel, Congress enacted a period of year-round daylight saving time from uh, January to April 
1975. Okay. okay. All right. So. Okay. Very um, good. Very good. And then check your uh, smoke detectors and all that. Stuff. Oh yes, good idea. Very good idea. All right, let's get on to our regular trivia. We're going to burn through this now. This, this is Keith here. Go ahead, brother okay. Keith. Give us some more facts here. Oh, this is trivia. <laughs> I'm still having trouble with our music. Making sure it's. Did I push this early? I. I... Uh. Yeah. I don't know. Well, whatever. <clears throat> it's nice to have a little bit of music in the background. <laughs> okay. Go uh, ahead. During a siege, the Mongols captured corpses. Or. Ca let me do this again. During during a siege, the Mongols catapulted corpses that were infected with the plague over the city walls to infect inhabitants. Now, and, and you were saying? Th well, I was kind of hoping whenever this wall down in Mexico gets built, our uh, fearless leader doesn't uh, do that kind of thing because that's that's not going to be good. Not good. Polls, is it? No, no. no. Anywho, uh, the, US, uh, the United States dropped 26,171 bombs in 2016. That's about three bombs every four... Every hour. Every hour for 24 hours a day. Yeah, we were that's, saying that uh, probably 20,000 of those bombs were dropped in Aberdeen, Aberdeen Maryland. Maryland. Yep, yep. <laughs> Goodness, isn't that something? Yeah. Wow. In 1971, the U.S. left a memorial on the moon for every astronaut who died in the pursuit of space exploration, including... Russian cosmonauts. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. The first armored presidential car was a Cadillac that had previously belonged to Al Capone. Yeah, talk about recycling, yes. reusing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well Very done. Good. Well yeah. done. Repurposing, Bravo. yes. Yeah. Hmm? This is interesting. Uh, the average age of Japanese farmers is 70. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I know. We got a long so way to go. You get into their prime at 70 years old. Yeah. Mm. yeah I love this, this one. Yes, this 19th is 19th century Hungarian composer and pianist Franz Liszt was the first musician to have women's underwear thrown at him. Yeah! yeah that's awesome. Woo-hoo, I'm still waiting for that to happen. Yeah! <laughs> All right, moving All on right. Right here. All right, a single <laughs> Boeing 777 engine delivers twice the horsepower of all the Titanic steam engines combined. That's wow. pretty amazing, yeah. Single, isn't that All right, one more. Airlines sell more seats than they have because around 90% because only 90% of passengers will show up to, for a flight. Yeah, means, so uh, 10% or... So if they go 10% over, they fill it. But you yeah. hear now and then that the, the flight is filled, you got bumped, and yes. those, those types of things. So there are times where... I still remember to this day, we were coming back from England a long time ago, and somebody from British Air came up to us and said, would you like... We'll give you a free trip if you bump. And we were just so tired. It, it didn't sound, but, you know, yeah. to this day, I'm like, why didn't I do that? Could have yeah. been a free weekend back to England. But right. anywho, yeah, well. so yeah, that happens. Yeah. All right. Okay. This is a great one. Humans aren't nutritious. So ancient cannibals probably devoured humans for other reasons. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> that is. Uh, so so uh, what is the lady in this picture thinking? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Babies in Britain, Canada, and Italy cry more than elsewhere, says an international study. Yep, yeah, well. we're, yep uh, Sophia and Caroline are definitely <laughs> part Canadian or part Britain or Italian. A little bit of Italian. Yeah. Oh, mama, no. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. Uh, the phenomenon where the shower curtain randomly clings to you, it's called... I can't read this the is shower like, curtain this is not grammatically effect. correct <laughs> it's this, not it's, no it isn't that, that's why i can't read it's called the, the phenomenon shower. uh the phenomenon where the shower curtain randomly clings clicks to you and it says it's called it's not it's called it is called next last one <laughs> my god <laughs> next <laughs> Joan Evans is the only person on earth capable of balancing 237 pints of beer atop his head. Wow. Yeah, Very that good. is we got yeah. yeah. Let's give a hallelujah there too. Yeah. That one too. Yay. Yeah, that is that that is pretty good. Yeah. All right, so let's get back to our trivia. <laughs> what do we got so as far as answers going on over there? Uh, well, it looks like we got a couple things going. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I see. Okay, that might actually be right. Okay, which that band's name is also a reference to a large German airship, cylindrical in, in shape. shape. Okay. Well, of and course, were, I'm going to say Led Zeppelin. You were saying yeah. Led Zeppelin. We got. Uh, it's Led Zeppelin. We got a, a starship. Okay. Uh, Jefferson Starship. Here we go. Led Zeppelin. Uh, Led Zeppelin. Yeah, yeah, very good. Very good. That's I what you're reading, right? Oops, that's not what I... <laughs> All right, which actress uh, played okay. Lauren Miller, Alex's girlfriend, on the last oh, two God. seasons of I Family Ties? Her name is... Uh, Three, I can picture. two, one. 
Courtney ah, Cox. Ah, Courtney, the other really? one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking her. 2008, too. or I'm sorry, with 208 touchdowns, which player holds the record for the most touchdowns in the American National Football League? Do we get anybody for this uh, one? We got a Jim Brown, I think. Jim that... Brown? Okay, let's see. Jerry, Jerry Rice. Rice. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't even think of him. I didn't think of anybody, actually. Which metallic element has a melting point of approximately minus 38 degrees Fahrenheit? Uh, I think I saw mercury in here yeah, somewhere. I see, I see yeah. mercury. There might be a couple of All right, let's see what we here. have. And survey says mercury. Yay. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah, you yeah, said very good. Yeah. There. Good job, yeah. guys. Uh -huh. yep. All right. Uh, which rapper was born Robert Matthew Van Winkle? Uh, on October 31st, 1967. Uh, and we have a Vanilla Ice and I thought okay. I saw something else. That All right, let's see be, if Joy's yeah. right here. Survey says Vanilla oh, Ice. Oh, very yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. All right, Joy. Good job. Yeah. Good job. All right. Now, <clears throat> this this one scares me because I know we're not pronouncing this correct at all. How do you say this? A la crazy? A la crazy? A la crazy? It's a French cooking term that describes a dish made or garnished with what? And three, two, <sighs> one. Carrots. Oh. Yeah. And here wow. I'm thinking like something like extraordinary. It's carrots. carrots. Okay. What was the name okay. of the London theater built by Shakespeare's Playing Company in 1599? Now, I was going to say the Globe. Yes. Barbara said the Swan. Well, and then and she re retracted. Uh, how said, about the Globe? Okay. Yeah. I was going to say the Globe. So let's yeah, go with is, the Globe. That's, that's Final answer. Go yeah. Yeah. Globe very theater. good. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Globe theater. And not think of it, but very nice. good. All right. <clears throat> and, and that's all we had because that's okay, what we did last good. week. All very right, good. Yeah. very good. Good job. All right, folks. Thanks for playing, everybody. It was really fun. Really fun. Yeah. This time. And for getting all those answers correct or otherwise, uh, you get our sincere congratulations. Yes, congratulations. Yeah. And, our, mm -hmm. and our studio applause. And you can you can redeem that anywhere, pretty much. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but, yeah. yeah I mean, someday I'll find my symbol again. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay. So let's get on to our birthday minute yes, so we yes. can get well, out of here. Yes. We're going to yep. end We're our show a long, as usual. Note. We're having such a good time. Yeah. So All right. uh, let's get into our birthday minute. Birthday minute, here we go. Birthday minute, and three, two, one, go. And now it's time for the Smacking Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. <laughs> the anticipation was palpable. All right, oh so let's goodness. explain what's going on. So now we sep we have separated our music from the video because the video was not coming through very well. Right. And if we don't sync up with our you it's, pressing that button and then me pressing this button all at the exactly, same time. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, we'll work so, on that. But anyway, the sound is it, it's, like, it's not it's not choppy like Yeah, the sound is much yeah. better, but uh sometimes syncing things up. So it's two steps forward, three steps backwards sometimes, you know. All right, who we got over there uh, for well, uh, you know, celebrity uh, birthdays? This is uh goes Go to me being the... old. All the celebrities that I could I figure they're young hip either music people or actors. I didn't know any of them. So the only one I came up with Gustav Stickley was born today in 1858. Okay, he was an architect. Uh, the uh, the uh, 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 craftsman style houses, the, the furniture and all that. You know, the craftsman style uh, furniture. Oh yes. yes. So, so he's really nice. He's yes. responsible for a lot of square houses. Yeah, square houses and uncomfortable furniture. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. <laughs> very Gustav. beautiful, but not very comfortable. All right. So anyway, so that's all we got for yeah. celebrities. Yeah, all right. We got that closer means we have plenty of time. We're all friends here. Yes, we Back do. in home here. Okay. All right, so starting Saturday. today, you ready? Yes, I am. All right, we still have no symbol up there, folks, so you're going to have to imagine the symbol as we go through here. All right, starting today, we say happy birthday to Bess and Jeff. Happy birthday, happy birthday today, today, guys. All right, and then tomorrow, the first day of Daylight Saving Time on Sunday, uh, March 10th, we have Jennifer and Terry. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, guys, Ooh, tomorrow. Yeah. All right, Monday 11th, we have one person on Monday, and that okay. goes to Colleen. Happy birthday on Monday. Happy Colleen. birthday. Tuesday is a big day. Yep. All right, we have Dale, Leroy, Leslie, and Max. Yay! Happy birthday, guys. I'm, pr I'm, I'm not sure. I think Max might be a dog, actually. So happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right, okay. Wednesday the 13th, we have Which Jess. Which happens to not 
fall on a Friday the third. Uh, it's yeah. Wednesday the thirteenth this yes, year <laughs> or this month, right? All right, so Wednesday the thirteenth, we have Jessica and we have Lauren. Yay. Happy birthday, Happy birthday guys! All right, Thursday the fourteenth, March fourteenth, we have Carl, Christine, and Kathleen. And a mystery person. Hmm. Let's move uh, on to Friday the fifteenth. Albert Einstein as well. Also, happy. Oh, yes, he's he's definitely. How come he wasn't uh, on your uh, list over there? Oh right. Yeah. All oh, right. Moving right. on. <laughs> fifteen. <laughs> we'll have these conversations after the show. Right. I'll see you <laughs> right. in the office. Friday the fifteenth. <clears throat> Christina, Michael, Ted, and Jeannie. Happy birthday, Jeannie. And on Saturday, March 16th, we have Dawn, Gary, Jean, Jennifer, and Kelly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Happy birthday, guys. Happy, Happy birthday. birthy. Happy birthday. birthday. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your year, right? Yes. Is that what we yep. say? Yes. Enjoy yep. your yep. year. Okay, we so we cannot let this day go uh, without a special birthday. Do you know whose birthday it is? Uh, a, a, an additional birthday on uh, was it Thursday, March 14th? Uh, was it Thursday was or it Wednesday? Thurs I thought it was Wednesday. Uh, Thursday. Yeah, just so you know, it is Thursday. Oh, it is Thursday. It is Thursday, okay. March 14th. You might need to know that in a little yeah. bit. Yeah, okay. Happy birthday to Big Brother Keith. Oh! Hey, happy birthday. Yeah, and we have a cake. We have a cake oh, for so Big Brother Are we going to show the cake? Yeah, of course we're going to show we, the are cake. We, are we going to light it? Yeah. Okay, I'll light it over here if you want. Okay. Like, <laughs> You know, I swear we talked about this. Uh, this you know, this is why we do rehearsals at, at uh, five after All right, nine. Now lift the cake up so the what people actually. The, uh... Well, it only goes for so long. Oh, lift the cake up so people see that we actually have a cake. And we're gonna light it. special. Really? Look at that. Isn't we're that gonna hope really the, nice. the uh, sprinkler system doesn't come on here. Okay, Big Brother Keith. And I did my cardio training uh, earlier this week, so I should be able to blow out three candles, not fifty <clears throat> new candles. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Keith. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Yay! Yeah, yeah, thank you very much, Bill. That was very nice. Hey, whoa, are you okay? You okay? <laughs> Don't change your smoke alarm uh, batteries until tomorrow. <laughs> we'll set this up. Okay, all right. Well, so we have much. a yeah. little bit of cake coming up after the show yes. here, folks. So don't be too jealous. If you want to stop by and have some, you're more than yeah. welcome to come right to Somerset Studios on West. But you got to hurry up. It's a very small cake, and I'm a little <laughs> yes, hungry. Right. So, so all right, all right, we're going to get out of here because. Um, we want to have yeah, that cake. Thanks, so, well, Kevin. let's get out of the birthday minute. Sorry. So, we got a little volume over there for the uh, birthday minute and the birthday minute outro. Birthday. Hold on a second. Nope. Nope. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oops. Oops. Birthday minute. Birthday minute. Well, it's like that was running a marathon. It I is. was just going to it say, is. it's like running a marathon. A 5K. That's right. Who, who needs to go outside to run a 5K? <laughs> yeah, well, we can, really? We can just do a show. We can just week. do it right on here. On Saturday, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, I they think will. that's about it, Keith. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for Thanks, uh, guys. joining us. We had us. a really good audience today. Thanks for yeah. stopping by. A couple of new people in. So and, uh, interaction going on. Always great yeah. to see everybody. Thanks for spending yeah. your time with us on a Saturday morning. Do us a favor. Be sure to like. Like our videos. Um, and if you have it in you, we, we'd love for you to share it. Yes. Yeah, press the yeah. share button yep. and say, hey, look at these goofy guys. They're, they're kind of idiots, but you might find something um, interesting about their show. And all our old shows, our past shows, are available on YouTube. Yep. They're all on YouTube. Look yep. up yep. smackandjack.com, uh, Smack and Jack YouTube. And we, we're not going to see you next week, each other, yeah, sorry, uh, you guys, next week. So uh, we'll be back in two weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we're pretty much yeah, uh, a little bit of exit music going uh, on. Right right oh, all the yeah. way at the very end. <laughs> so, so once again, thanks very much for stopping by, guys. Uh, great seeing you. And remember, you deserve a thought of your own. So be in touch to learn, laugh, and live. See you guys in two weeks. See you soon. Yes. Yep. See you soon. See all right. Soon. Stay in touch, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.